you know, ever since the first sub ohm tank came out, they've been all the rage. Uh, a lot of people using these things. They're very easy for beginners to get a good vape. And um, we got a Smoke VCT Pro today that we're going to review. It was sent to us by GearBest.com, free of charge for the purpose of review. I am Steve Perry for SmokingTheBandwidth.com, and I am slaving over a hot atomizer to bring you the best electronic cigarette news, views, and reviews available on the World Wide Web. And today, I am vaping like a pro. And that is, of course, because we've got the Smoke VCT, I believe, Vertical Coil Tank Pro. Um, comes with everything you see there. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but first, let's have a vape. As you can see there, the vapor production's pretty light. The flavor is also muted. You couldn't see that, but it is. The reason why I bring this up is because I got it at 30 watts. On the specs for this device, they tell you that it is designed to be used between 30 and 90 watts. That's at 30 watts. It ain't cutting it. Um, if you got a 30 watt mod and that's as high as it goes, this probably isn't going to be the tank for you. But the high end of the spec is 90 watts. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tank and then we'll see what it does at the higher voltages. All right, folks, so here it is. It is the VCT Pro from Smoke Tech. It's going to come in a box just like this. Pull the sleeve, take the lid off, and there's your tank. Um, it's also going to come with a Pyrex, uh, an extra Pyrex tank in case you break that one. And it comes with a an additional head that 0.6 ohm head will be installed in the tank. This is the 0.2 ohm head. We'll get back to that in a second. Did you pull the tank out? There it is. Comes with everything seen, including the drip tip. And if you pull that out, pull that out, throw that out. No, it's the instruction manual if you want to use it. It's not, um, you know, rocket science here or anything. And then, of course, you've got an extra set of O-rings, which happen to be red. The ones installed are black, so if you prefer the red color, you can switch those out. Or you can save them for when you need them at a later date. Now, the tank comes with a drip tip, as you see here. But one of the hits, this drip tip does have, they call it a fan. But, um, well, if we can get it to move here. There we go. You can open up the airflow on the drip tip. Basically... Obviously, since the coil is heating up liquid, you're pulling it through the uh, up through the coil, the air that comes from the airflow at the bottom, as you can see, fully adjustable. Um, the air comes through, runs through the coil, and comes up, so it will be hot. This allows you to pull, pull cool air in and cool down the temperature of the vapor. But because it fits loosely. It's, you know, you're not going to be able to adjust it with the drip tip in there. You might be able to find an O-ring if you have extra drip tips uh, that you don't use anymore. You might be able to find a thicker O-ring that will tighten it up a little. Uh, it's, not a, um, it's not a tight turn on it or anything, so you might be able to find one that will tighten it enough to where you'll be able to adjust it with it in there. Not that big of a deal. It's just that you get liquid in the well there, and on the end, taking it out, you can get liquid on your hands. Um, Anyway, you got these cooling fins at the top. I don't know how much they do. I, I know they are supposed to cool the device down. But with the 0.2 ohm head, this thing will get hot if you're vaping at 90 watts. It's good vape, but it's it does get pretty hot. And, of course, the uh, tank, the, the Pyrex section of the tank is held on with the O-rings. That's another kind of downside to this device because when you're taking the deck off of the device, the O-rings eh, make it, you know, it, it can be a little hard to tighten and loosen it uh, fully. But, of course, there's your head. You simply unscrew it and put the other one in to make it work. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a little tight to screw on and off. But... Not ridiculously so. 
it's you know something you could look at as a downside and of course the loose strip tip now yes we do have it closed off for those of you that like a tight draw um, this tank can get it I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if you can hear that or not but it barely sucks any air through there which is surprising because this is the airflow control is very loose in fact you can just kind of bump it and it will uh, it'll move on you a little bit but when it is sealed off it is sealed off I mean you can literally you, you can hardly draw any air through it at all so for those of you that like a tight draw if you were to just you know open it up a hair like that you're gonna get a very tight draw so it is it is capable of really narrowing down your your draw on the, on the device for those of you that like that now taking a look at the replacement head I don't know if you're gonna be able to see down there um, but you can see where a leg basically in the middle of that what looks like a kind of looks like a solid coil but right in the middle you can see a leg going to the side which tells me that they are indeed dual coils if you look on the side you can see the slots for the juice are very large this thing wicks like a champ here's a video when I first put the 2 ohm head in or the 0.2 ohm head in um, I took this video here of it just sucking the juice into the tank literally you can just see the steady stream of bubbles so it does an excellent job with that the wicking is great I've had no leaking issues on the device either the only leaking I had was when I left the tank sit for like three days I had some uh, liquid coming out of the air slots but other than that I've had no leaking issues and no dry hits whatsoever so let's go ahead and take the tank and test it out in the 40 to 90 watt range so as we already showed you, this tank is really not, it doesn't do so good at 30 watts. I went ahead and turned it up to 40 watts, and let's see what we get here. So the vapor production there is a little more satisfactory. The flavor is still a little muted, but it's better than it was at 30 watts. And this, of course, is with the 0.6 ohm head in there. Um, still at 40 watts. It's just not, it's a good vape, it's an okay vape, but still 40 watts is a little low for my taste. Let's turn it up to 50. There we go at 50 watts, and that's more like it. Um, pretty good vape at 50 watts. Basically... As I said, everything on this mod is really set up to kind of cool down the vape. So at the lower watts, as a result of that, you're also kind of cutting back the flavor. It's kind of muted. Up here at 50, I'm getting good flavor. Now, I spend most of my time vaping this thing at 50 watts. Or excuse me, at 60 watts. But you can also turn the thing up to 90 as the specs suggest which kind of surprised me without getting a burnt hit I'm gonna turn it up to 90 watts and at 90 watts we are um, firing at seven and a half volts on a 0.6 ohm head really to me for a tank atomizer it sounds like I should be getting a burnt hit but I'm not Now, it is a much warmer vape at 90 watts, but that's where the um, the little uh, airflow on your drip tip comes in handy. If it's too warm for you, but you like the vape, you can open that up and basically it gives you the cool air from the top instead of the hot air from the bottom and it really cools the vape down I, I it blows me away how cool the vape is at 90 watts on this thing on the 0.6 ohm head now on the 0.2 ohm head I've run that through the full range of the specs as well the 0.2 ohm head at 90 watts this tank is gonna get hot additionally the metal part of your drip tips gonna get hot so if you slide too far 
on the drip tip, it gets pretty hot. The 2 ohm, the 0.2 ohm head, well really both of these heads, I've been running at 60 watts. The 0.2 ohm head really maxes out for me at 60 watts. I get over 60, uh, it gets a little hot, I just don't like it that way, so I keep it at 60. But it doesn't burn. This thing really wicks incredibly well. This tank does a hell of a job on, on wicking. Like I'm blown away by how well it does on that. But the 0.6 ohm head, you can really sit here and vape it at 90 watts and it's an enjoyable vape. And of course, if you go to the link below in the comments, or, or in the uh, description on the video, I'm going to give you a link over to GearBest.com where you can order this tank, and I'm also going to give you a coupon code where you can get it for $20.99. That's hard to beat, folks. The tank comes with everything pictured as well. It is coming from China, so if you don't pay for expedited shipping, it's going to take a little while to get here, but for $21, bucks, it's worth the price in my opinion. It's the VCT Pro from Smoke Tech nice little sub ohm tank especially if you like a cooler vape with your sub ohm vape i think you're gonna love this tank